<coughs> this is uh, bone marrow. Bone marrow is where red and white cells develop and if uh, bone marrow is taken and a slide is prepared, what we see when we look at it, the difference between peripheral blood and bone marrow is that there are some very large cells and some very small cells. And that's characteristic of the developing blood cells. The immature cells are very large and the small cells are the mature cells. The cells that we will be required to identify we can't tell whether one of these large cells is going to be an erythroblast or that is the precursor of a red cell or a leukoblast, the precursor of a white cell. But what we do know, we can recognize these uh, red cells just before they extrude their nucleus because that's the last stage uh, of development of the red cell before it's released into the cytoplasm uh, and the bloodstream, into the bloodstream. Here's a red cell that is just ready to release its nucleus and become a mature erythrocyte such as this one. And this cell that is just about to release its nucleus is called an orthochromatic erythroblast. We'll settle for the name normoblast, a maturing red cell. So we should be able to recognize a uh, stem cell or blast cell, we'll call this, because we don't know whether it's going to develop red or white. So this is a blast cell. Uh, and uh, these cells that are, are extruding their nucleus here, this is a, a normoblast in the developing bone marrow. <coughs>